So I'm Charlie Nelson, I'm 25, I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. So I got to UA in 2014 and I started out studying finance and economics, well I specialize in economics and I ended up graduating in 2018 in May. So when I was younger I would go thrifting and such just to find like my own unique style and wear cool stuff that I thought was cool. And when I got to college I noticed there was a demand for it. So I just started selling some of that stuff that I found through the years because I realized that so many people wanted it. Kind of got the idea to start a Tuscaloosa store with mostly Alabama stuff. So I started doing pop-up shops like around campus and such and people were loving it. They just loved how unique all the stuff was, things like that. I mean, you just can't really find this stuff anywhere else in the middle of Alabama. And so I just decided to open up a shop down here. It's sustainable fashion is one of the things. It's just, it lasts longer than the new fast fashion clothes. Like, you can't find this stuff anywhere. It's just so cool. It's like, you walk out and you're the only one wearing it. The 92 season when we won the national championship, that helps me find all this stuff because it just creates demand because there were all those fans back in the day that were there and they want that shirt that they had in 92 that they probably threw away or got rid of and didn't even think anything of it. Some of these people that come in, the older folks who were around around then, they, they love this stuff. They tell me that they used to have it and I love talking with them about it. It's just, there's, there's an atmosphere on Tuscaloosa that there really isn't anywhere else, whether it's the athletes, the fans, the locals. There's just an atmosphere and a tradition that no one, no other college can really compete with. I really love the diverse crowd that we get and like the community that we've started creating that comes in the shop. Like I've made a lot of really good friends and good connections. It's, it's just been a lot of fun. I mean, it's been, business has been great, but it's also been rewarding through that sense of creating like a little community and stuff too. Without Saban, I don't know if all this demand would be there. I mean, it's just created a huge demand for it. And that's why I figured I needed to open up the shop because there's just not one like it. It's the only one there is really that's like, has so much Alabama stuff, but it's just been, I mean, it's been awesome with the community that we've created. So what are your best sellers in the store? Like what typically flies off the shelf as soon as you put it up? Vintage sweatshirts and the vintage snapbacks. Those are definitely my top sellers. One thing that I'll never sell is that bench. I got an estate sale of Fred Sington, who was a linebacker on the team in 1929, 1930, when we won a national championship. So that's probably my, the most unique thing to me that's in here. Just, I mean, it's so different. I love it, I'll never sell it. It's just so cool to me. How I do it is I'll look it up online, go to eBay and the little apps and stuff like that and just see what other people are selling theirs for and kind of get like a, a market value almost. It's really just about getting it in the right person's hands for a decent price to where I can get things in and get things out. We definitely get some haggling. But I kind of fix that, I, I do deals, like if you get two things, I take 15% off. I kind of use that to kind of counter the haggling, just because I've got everything priced pretty well here right now. But it just depends. Yeah, no, ha haggling does happen, though. So anybody, it doesn't matter who you are, if you come in, I'm gonna treat you the same. Like, all my employees are nice, we're all very kind. We just try to create a good atmosphere and I just want that to keep going. This summer I really have created like a good community of people that come in, really diverse crowd. I mean, it's been awesome. That's Pepper. She's an Australian Shepherd. I actually got her when I was a senior here. So she really loves all the students. It, I mean, it really helps because she's nice to everyone. We're both friendly, we won't bite. But yeah, no, she's a great salesman, saleswoman. <laughs>